Hello and welcome to a Coaster Crazy vlog with a bit of a difference. Yeah, I haven't actually filmed anything for for ages. We all know we went into this second England lockdown. Uh, we will be coming out of it in the next few days anyway. So hopefully things will get back to better uh, better situations. Um, yeah, so you've clicked on this video. It's it's going to be about the. Uh, DJI Mini 2, which is the new drone that I bought last night. Um, so I just thought I'd sit down first. Got some of the Christmas decorations up, so all excited for Christmas coming along. It won't be the same as obviously what we're used to uh, regarding events and things. Um, High Park Winter Wonderland, you all know, got cancelled. So whatever we can go to, we'll try and go to. I know Drayton Manor's Christmas Christmas event got cancelled. Uh, and a few others actually. We're, we're not we're not too sure what's going on. We were supposed to be going to the uh, the Merry Hill uh, event in Birmingham. Again, not even sure if it's going ahead. If it does, we'll go. You'll see the vlog come online. But uh, yeah, the past sort of few weeks, um, been busy with work. Um, I haven't really done a lot regarding content for the channel as you as you as you've seen. I haven't done any live videos. I just I'm just not feeling it when when there's no reason to go out or film anything i just haven't got the motivation to do it and i'm not really comfortable doing these sit down videos i'm only doing this one now because i wanted to go out and fly the drone and you know the missus has gone out shopping so i'm i'm, I'm all home alone I, f I feel a bit more comfortable confident to do this i thought i needed to do it anyway but um yeah, um, you haven't clicked on this video for me waffling on as usual. But firstly, what I want to do is I was going to do a live video. I might still do one tonight um, uh, via the phone. I uh, have it set up in this location. I am using the GoPro 9 uh, to film this, which I, I think is brilliant. It's a brilliant little camera um, for Christmas, hopefully. Well, I, I am getting because I've, I've seen what she's bought me, but I'm getting the new um, media mod, which is the... Uh, the microphone and a light that sits on the top, and I've also got the the uh, the Max Lens mod as well, which gives you this super cool uh, auto level lock uh, sort of feature, which so bring a new dimension to the vlogs. Also, with the uh, with the drone as well. So yeah, I want to get talking because I'm, I'm quite excited to get out and and fly this thing. I actually set it up last night. Um, and actually had it just going around the living room. We have quite a longish living room here in our little cottage here. Um, but it scared the cat, bless her. <laughs> but yeah, it's really good. I, I can't wait to get it outside. It is quite foggy. It's quite a cold day. Um, and I'll talk about it more in a minute. First of all, I want to show you this. Now, you all know I'm a big Star Wars fan. And, um, yeah, a fan of the channel reached out to me. She sent me a message. Again, if you have anything like this that's, uh, you know, relevant to me and the channel, then please get in touch and I'll, I'll stick it in a vlog. Um, she's called Rachel Frost and she does concrete um, figures. The actual um, company that she's got, it's a small little business that she's got. She wanted me to, to give her a little plug um for obviously for like stocking fillers and things and obviously with the, with the downturn in the business at the moment uh and what's been going on it's not been doing too well but it's called concrete creations she's got a um it's on instagram it's concrete.creations.uk again i'll stick it down here in the corner or is it on that side i don't really know because i'm looking at the screen now so it should be down here somewhere uh, and she's got an SD shop as well, which is Concrete Creational, uh, co uh, Concrete Creations uh, LDN. So yeah, again, I'll stick it down in the bottom of the video. And she's basically just contacted me and said, "Well, I'll show her a little business, and she'll send me a few little things." She's also sent me a beautiful letter as well, uh, telling me about how much things cost and. Uh, what she's got and what she sent me. She actually sent me a few other little things, but I won't really show them. Um, she made some like little Lego models, like these little things, uh, and an A and an L and a little love heart that are painted. We also went on a online shop and bought some uh, some coasters as well, just sort of just like these things, some concrete coasters. But anyway, she sent me these, and I think they're amazing. So first up is this. Um, it's a concrete. 
R2D2. It's it's flat, but it's it's obviously she pours it into a mold. She told me she gets the molds from China, and um, yeah, it's basically like that. So if you do get them, um, you can paint them up yourself. How much was the uh, R2D? Oh, eight pound fifty for these. Eight pound fifty uh, and free posted and packaging. So that's pretty cool. This is my favourite one though. It's a concrete Millennium Falcon. How awesome is that? Again, if you wanted to, you could suppose you can get the pictures um, and, and paint it. But I suppose the Millennium Falcon is sort of a, a greyish colour anyway. But yeah, it's like flat on the bottom. You can see it's 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 actually really relevant to to me in a way because I love Star Wars. I'm a massive Star Wars fan. And with my job, I pour concrete all day, in, you know, with with my crane and skips and stuff. And that's what it looks like when it's it's obviously all dry. You build a wall and things. So yeah, that's really cool. The Millennium Falcon was uh, eight pound fifty as well. So yeah, go and check it out. Uh, you know, go and give us some some support. And again, if you like arty sort of stuff and things that are a bit different. Um, you can you can have a look. Um, just, I'll show you the website in a second. Anyone on my phone? But yeah, this is this is a really cool little thing. It's a uh, concrete moustache. Not like I need one anyway. But it's actually a phone holder. So if I sort of step back a bit, so you've got your phone. You just stick it in there. So yeah, it's like a desk phone holder. That's awesome. Really like that. Again, you could probably stick two in there or a, an iPod or something like that or. Whatever you've got, you know, generic phones, uh, the moustache phone holder, £10 a piece. So, yeah, like I said, she sent me a lovely letter telling me about how much all the stuff cost, like the initials, little concrete initials that were £2 each, uh, the little heart that she sent, which is painted, uh, sits with the initials, that's one fifty. Um, and the little sort of robot -y. she said not to mention it because she's actually not doing them or they're not selling that well but I quite like them so I'll mention them anyway um, uh, yeah so that's it yeah lovely little letter from uh, Rachel um, there you go there's a bit of a shout out and a plug for your channel so uh, and, and your, um, your little business so like I said go and check it out Concrete Creations it's down in the bottom so uh, yeah let's get on to what this video is all about right so i've been i've been after one of these for quite a while now and um yeah i <laughs> i went out last night well yesterday we went, we went for some uh, went for a walk um and um i just thought yeah while we're in the area i'll i'll go on um, the the pc world website and see if they've got them in stock which is the uh, the mini 2 uh, from dji the little drone and um, they actually do a bundle which was over 500 pound I, I believe and it comes with like a battery charger and extra batteries and a bag and uh, they didn't actually have them in stock and um, I, I wanted it now <laughs> I wanted to get it now but they did have just the, the actual standard um, thing itself um, on its own which is what I got um, from Argos, because uh, like I said, the PC world, I had to order it, but Argos was a click and collect, and you can go and get it anyway. Massive queue of people all wearing, your, obviously, your face masks and stuff. But this is it. This is what I've got. It's the uh, the Mini 2. It was £419, and um, yeah, it's, it's it's awesome from what I've seen. Um, I've, I've been watching all the videos about it, the reviews and things like that, and um, it looks awesome. It's under a certain weight, so you don't have to do the like it's not against the laws to fly it obviously you've got to watch where you fly it i mean i've got this you'll see in a minute when we go out but i live um literally across the road from a massive common and um, we live in the middle of nowhere in the countryside anyway so there's no one around but you can't obviously fly over people i can't f obviously fly it in theme parks which i've already had messages off people going oh you can't fly it in th yeah i know that i'm not exactly got to go into towers or thorpe and start flying it around i know that but i could probably say pull up when i get there in the car park and just take it up and get some aerial views or something like that uh fun fairs i know some a lot of fun fair vloggers sloppy vlogs uh on the ground um uh the fair scene they've all got all they've all got these these little drones they do some really good footage as well um so fair vlogs when i go to them carters would be quite nice to get some footage of carters flying around but obviously i've got to practice 
I've, I've, I, I had it around the living room for about 10 minutes last night and um, nearly, well, nearly got it in the Christmas tree, which is over there. So we've got to be careful with stuff like this. Um, but yeah, it's under a certain weight, 449 kilograms, I think. It's only a tiny thing, but uh, yeah, this is it, basically. This is what I've got. So it's quite an expensive toy. Really wanted one for a while though. I did have a tiny little drone which ended up landing going in a tree. But yeah, it's got a, a gimbal on the front, um, which you take the, the cover off. And it can actually shoot in 4K as well, which I'll, I'll, I'll give it a go, see what it's like. But yeah, they got the gimbal there. And um, yeah, it's, it's actually really, really small. I mean, compared to my phone, it's it's the same, it's actually smaller than a phone. I mean, obviously with the width, it's it's not, but yeah, so I can't wait to go and fly it. The only thing is with this, it doesn't have any sound built in because you just hear the propellers going, Wee! and it, it won't be very good. But from what we've done in the living room last night, just had it in normal mode, and you set it off and it, it sort of takes off on its own, and it literally just hovers there, and you can push it with your finger, and it literally doesn't move. It's, it's incredible. So, yeah, you pull the... Uh, the sides out. Like I said, I've been watching so many reviews about about these, and um, yeah, so you basically put it on the floor there. It only has one battery in the back. They've got all these vents to cool it down, all the motors and things. There's like the sensors at the bottom, a battery a button there to turn it on, and the controller. It's pretty cool. Nice controller. It's like a Xbox controller in it. So yeah, you got your joystick uh, buttons these pop out of here and then screw into here um, They're obviously just in there so you don't lose them uh, a couple of buttons on there. You can have cinematic mode um, Normal mode and sport mode, which is obviously different speeds um, You got your pitch control there for your for your gimbal so that moves up and down I didn't know about that so I had to ask a friend last night and the phone actually slots inside here which again i'll show you in a minute but this is the actual aerial again i didn't know the, the, the instruction booklet for this thing is is terrible you know when you get a new phone you don't get any instructions with it you've got to figure it out yourself so yeah the um that is the the actual aerial for it your phone plugs in there and then you've got this lead that's inside here you just pull it out and then uh, it's already got the Apple connection on it. You can take this out. It comes with another lead for Samsung's and whatever what other phones you've got. That plugs into the phone. And um, away you go. You've got to download an app as well. And um, yeah, so if you give me a second, I'll stick my phone in because I'll have to do that in a minute anyway. But when I go outside, I'm actually got to put my chest harness on so you can see what I'm doing in my hands. And then I'm got to fly around, see what you can see outside, and then um, and then that'll be it. Um, just basically a little review. I know that it looks all right from what I've done last night. I took a little a couple of pictures and things, and um, yeah. So if you give me a second, I'll put my phone in the uh, in the controller and show you what that does. Right. So I've just plugged my phone into the top, and basically you get something like this. This is the app that you have to download uh, from the DJI, uh, well, from the App Store or uh, Google Play or whatever it is on the Androids, I don't really know. But yeah, the app is basically just um, um, DJI Fly, or some, you know, and then that's it basically. So yeah, it goes in the top of there, and that's what you see from the drone. I mean, I would connect it while I'm inside, but uh, it's better just to do it outside because, uh, yeah, I mean... I don't know, see if it see if it works, if it turns on. Whoop, there you go. Let the drone do its thing. So I'll just put that down to the side. And connect the aircraft. So you press this button here. DJI Mini 2. Click on that. Uh put the uh joysticks in which is what I should have just done before. But yeah, really excited for this. Again, it gives a, a new perspective uh, to the vlogs, um, something a bit different. Again, I won't be taking it out all the time because it's it's quite an expensive thing and I won't be able to fly around 
uh, theme parks and things like that. So put the, uh, the joystick holders in there, uh, camera view, and it probably waits. Oh, and, and turn the controller on. <laughs> so again, same with the button there. Hold, press and hold. Actually charges the phone as well. Oh, and there we go. <laughs> there we go. It's on. It's on. So, see so if you can see that there. There's the drone. So if we we'll just pan around in the a bit there. I don't want to show you too much. But there's a Christmas tree anyway over there. So yeah, that's it. So basically, that's that's the drone set up. Um, yeah, this is me uh, my little setup anyway. <laughs> Well, yeah, it's pretty cool. Right, so, uh, yeah, so join me outside, and I'll, I'll see you in a bit. Right, so I've just walked outside, across the road to the common, and the plan is to walk out as far as I can, really. Um, you've got some of the trees here. There's a bench just over there to the left. I've got it all set up. It's already on. Got a mat to take it off from. You can buy all sorts of uh, like extra stuff for them. Uh, I mean, it's the thing with this hobby; it can be very expensive, <laughs> especially with the GoPros and the amount of money I've spent with GoPros in the past. All the batteries, all the stuff that you need for them. I it was quite damp today, I don't even know if it's the right sort of weather. Obviously it's not, is it? Because I ain't going to see a lot. But this is quite a nice flat concrete section there. I could just put the mat on the ground there. Oh, you can see. Oh, you can see with the, uh, with the GoPro. I've got a stand here. Right, so it's already set up there. Oh. Right, let's give it a crack. So basically there's a button just here. So you press that and you press and hold that and it it should just take off on its own. There we go. Just like that. I'll just put the uh, controller down for a second and I'll show you what it's like. Just there on its own. I mean, it's awesome, isn't it? How cool is that? That's really, really cool. Right, so you can walk around it. I am pretty close to it as well. I right, said so you can touch it and it won't move. <laughs> awesome. It's a really new design as well with the wind as well. Um, if it's really windy, it's got a new sort of sensor in it. I mean, you can see it's sort of shaking around a bit there. So what I'll do is I'll put you back here on the chest down so I hope you can see all right and I'll put it into uh, cine mode which is on here and I'll switch it across and there you go you got the cine mode there and let's see what we can get on here so everything from now will be from from the drone uh, what I can also do uh, with my phone is I can actually screenshot what's on here so uh, hang on I'll see if I can do that oh no it'll come out yeah there we are it's back on uh screen grab so i could do that see what happens with this right so it's now recording what's on here as well so that's quite a cool thing uh so there's your battery there so it's 90 percent battery full signal uh in flight uh the area where i live is really good um there's no airports nearby or anything like that uh, the camera mode, uh, it's going to record, so let's see what I've got it in, 1080p, I'll stick it in 30 frames a second, uh, sorry, 60 frames a second, and uh, there we go, it's recording, right, see, we can see, I've got to look on my screen now, uh, rather than the drone itself, so you can see what I can see, so yeah, right, right stick is pitch left and right so this is me having my first go on it really so whatever you see um, should be pretty cool as a guy over there with a the dog so left stick spins it around so 
don't want to say where we live but our house is over there <laughs> somewhere all right spins around nice and steady there's me so i'll look at the camera and have a wave get it nice and focused and you can go up and down just watch this dog over there so let's and then obviously you've got the thing on the back which i showed you on the back uh to move the gimbal up and down so that's nice and steady as well right so let's go from here and then go straight up i think It's still pretty level looking at it. There's me there. <laughs> it's really steady. Go forward a bit. That's down. Hang on. Which is forward. There you go. Forward. So get me in there. There you can see my little landing pad as well. Uh, on the ground. This is awesome, this is really cool. I, I, I don't really know what else to do with it, but uh, yeah, let's bring the the camera back up. Wow, yeah, you can see the fog now. Right, I can go up to a hundred and, well, actually there's no law in the UK. Um, if you're near, um, if you're actually near uh, airports and things or in a flight path, it's 150 feet feet i think but yeah that's uh, pretty awesome let's go up a bit more bring the gim bring the gimbal down a bit wow uh, let's bring it down a bit more so i'm looking at the uh looking at the at the drone and the screen as well but how high did i go there so so it's at 20 meter 20 meters there so it's quite high let's spin it around and work the thing is though i mean like you could i could probably go oh look at that you can see the fog rolling there that's awesome all right i want to go as high as i can but i'm a bit scared i don't want to like lose it because i could probably go above the the fog line 33 meters 36 40 meters wow i can still see it wow it's really high up now i'm gonna bring it back down <laughs> yeah i don't want to go too high with it on my first go It's still coming down, it's really slow. Right, let's stick into uh, normal mode, see how, what the speed is then. Right, so it's in normal mode now. Bring it down now. Oh, it's a lot quicker. There you go. <laughs> That's awesome, isn't it? Hello. <laughs> Right, so yeah, I hope you've uh, like been impressed with this. I might as well talk to the uh, the Mavic. You can see all the um, the water on it as well. Hang on, I'm a bit too close. So, uh, you can see all the water on it, so I might just call it a, for a day. Uh, but I'm going to stop filming now. I hope you've enjoyed this actually. From from what I've, whoop, 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 hello, hello, I've gone that. Oh, I'm over here now. But the gimbal on it's so so cool. It's really, really impressive to what you can do. So I might stop filming now, and um, and yeah, but um, yeah, I don't know what how to edit this. I'll, I'll see how it goes, but I've, I might as well do it this way with the GoPro um, and stick in the footage from uh, the Mavic because, like I said, there's no sound on it. Um, but yeah, there you go. That's it. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Something new to the channel. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen on the Mavic. Uh, sorry, on the Mini 2, I've got to keep saying Mini 2 because it's not the Mavic, it, that's the model for it, but yeah, it's the Mini 2. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Like I said, I can actually vlog like this, um, as long as I've got a microphone or some sort of way of actually recording my voice, like I said, with the GoPros on the chest harness, you can see that on the, on the whatever it is I'm filming on, but it's there anyway. <laughs> and, um, 
yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this one. Uh, like I said, if we're going to any Christmas events soon, I'll uh, stick it up a bit higher. Any more Christmas events soon, um, obviously you'll see that um, coming along. But uh, yeah, I'll see if it lands before I go. So I've got you back on the GoPro. Yep. Uh, you don't want to see my bald head or my receding hairline. But there's this button here. If you press that and hold and land, hopefully it should land where it is. Although the mat's not there. There you go. <laughs> I'll see you later. Bye for now.